Hi everybody, Namaste from Sarva. Welcome to today's session. It's called ancient practice or you can say traditional techniques or traditional practice. So in this series, we are going to tone up our arms and legs and also core. And this class will help to reduce weight faster and also shaping your arms and legs and also core. Okay, let's start without any further delay. Take chin mudra upon your thighs, everybody. Raising the sternum up, gently close your eyes. Remove all the tension, stress, worries from your mind and from your body. With a beautiful smile on your face, take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take one more deep breath again and slowly breathe out. Now slowly and gently you may open your eyes. Let's start the practice everybody. So first we are going to practice with the Surya Namaskar. That Surya Namaskar will help to energizing your body and also it helps to warm up the body. So let's start yogi cardio that is called Surya Namaskar for three rounds. Come front of your mat everybody. Bring your feet together. Take Namaskar Mudra. Stand Thadasana position. Now from here inhale raising your hands up, lengthen your spine and slightly arch back. Exhale, bend forward into Pada Hastasana. Adjust your palms next to your foot and slowly draw your head in between the kneecap. Now inhale, bring your right leg back, look front. Push pelvic forward, breath should be normal. And as you exhale, take left leg back into plank, look front. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, sit back into child. Maintain the arms so straight and slowly draw your head towards the floor. Inhale, slowly come up, tuck your toes in, exhale, Astanga Namaskara. Inhale, upward facing dog, stretch your toes, pointing back. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Push your sternum inside as much as you can, pressing the heels down to the floor. Maintain the arms straight. Now inhale, drop the knees again, exhale, sit back into child. Now inhale, bring your right leg front. Pick up the left knee off the floor, look front. And exhale, bring your left leg forward into Pada Hastasana. From here, we need to do opposite side. So now, bring your left leg back, inhale. Asva Sancharana, look front. Exhale, right leg back into Dandasana, body so straight. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, sit back, child, everybody. Draw your head on the floor. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, Astanga Namaskara. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, come into downward facing dog here. Pushing the sternum inside. Now inhale, drop the knees again. Exhale, sit back into child. Inhale, bring your left leg front in between your palms. Pick up the right knee off the floor. Look forward. Exhale, right leg front into Pada Hastasana. Inhale, all the way up and arch back. Exhale, Namaskar Mudra. Let's start second round. Ready? Bring your feet together and palms together. Take Pranamasana. From here, inhale, Hastavuttanasana. Exhale, bend forward into Pada Hastasana. Now inhale, bring your right leg back. Look friend. Now here, I recommend you to drop the right knee down and stretch your toes pointing back. Now push pelvic front as much as you can. So we'll feel the stretch on your right quadriceps muscles, okay? Look front. And as we exhale, bring your left leg back into plank position. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, sit back into child. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, Astanga Namaskara. Inhale, upward facing dog. If you have a problems in the lower back, I recommend you to come little down here. Okay, if you're okay, keeping the arms so straight. Now again, if you have a cervical problems, 
do not look upward, just look front. If you are okay, then you can look upward. And exhale, come into down of facing dog. Inhale, drop the knees again. Exhale, sit back, child pose. Now, inhale, step your right foot front without lifting your left knee. Push pelvic front as much as you can and focus on your left quadriceps muscles and feel the stretch. And exhale, take left leg front into Padahasta. Now, inhale, left leg back opposite side and drop your left knee down, stretch your toes, pointing back, push pelvic front. And exhale, take right leg back into plank position. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, sit back, child. Inhale, slowly come up, tuck your toes in. Exhale, bring your chest in on the floor, Astanga Namaskara. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, come into Parvatasana here. Now inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, sit back, child. Inhale, bring your left leg front without lifting your right knee. Push pelvic forward. Again, feel the stretch on your right quadriceps muscles. And exhale, bring your right leg front into Pada Hastasana. Inhale all the way up and arch back to Uttanasana. Exhale, Namaskar Mudra. Isn't it easy? Let's start one more, guys. Now from here, I'm going to add some variations that will have to strengthen your lower back and also reduce the fat on your front of the abdomen region. Let's start the practice here. Bring your hands together into Namaskara. Now inhale, Hastu Uttanasana and arch back gently. Exhale, bend forward into Pada Hastasana. Inhale, bring your right leg back. Drop your right knee down, stretch your toes pointing back. Now beginners, just place your hands. Beginners, just place your hands on the kneecap. Push pelvic front, keep your arms so straight. Slightly bend back here. If you can able to balance, you may raising your hands up over your head and palms together and slightly bend back. Now drop the hands on the floor, inhale and exhale, take left leg back into Dandasana or plank position. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, sit back into child. Inhale, slowly come up, tuck your toes. Exhale, astanga namaskara. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog here. Now inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, sit back into child pose. Inhale, bring your right leg front. In between your palms, push pelvic forward. Beginners, again, take your hands into like your fingers. Place it on the kneecap and slowly, keeping the arms so straight, push your sternum back. Option two, if you can able to balance, raising your hands up and palms together and slightly bend backward. Then slowly drop the hands on the floor, inhale and exhale, bring your left leg front into Pada Hastasana. Now from here, make it opposite side. This is final round. Inhale, take left leg back and exhale, come into half moon posture again. Drop the hands on the floor, inhale, exhale, come into plank position. Inhale, drop the knees, exhale, sit back into child. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, astanga namaskara. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Now inhale, drop the knees, exhale, sit back into child again. Inhale, bring your left foot front in between your palms, push pelvic front and exhale, come into half moon pose. Bend back as much as you can. Now drop the hands on the floor, inhale and exhale, right leg front into Pada Hasta. Inhale all the way up and arch back. Exhale, Namaskar Mudra. And relax everybody to a relaxation for a few seconds. If you feel thirsty, if you feel tired, just have some breath. If you feel thirsty, have a sip of water and take relaxation for a few seconds now. So next we are going to practice that is called arm toning exercises. Or you can say it, it's an you know, ancient techniques that is called push-ups. Now here we are going to focus five push-ups. That is 
नॉर्मल पुशअप्स और साधारण दंड एंड सेकेंड वन राम मूर्ति दंड थर्ड वन पार्श्व दंड फोर्थ वन हनुमान दंड एंड फिफ्थ वन मिश्र दंड ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द प्रैक्टिस कम फ्रंट ऑफ मैट एवरीबडी ब्रिंग योर फेट टुगेदर टेक नमस्कार मुद्रा नाउ इन हेल रेजिंग योर हैंड्स और फार्म्स टुगेदर स्ट्रेच योर आर्म्स अपवर्ड एज मच एज यू कैन एक्सेल स्लोली बेन फॉरवर्ड इन टू पाद हस्त नाउ इन हेल स्टेप योर राइट फुट बैक एक्सेल लेफ्ट लेग बैक इन टू डाउन ऑफ फेसिंग डॉग नो इफ यू फील थायर्ड यू मे जस्ट ड्रॉप द नीज एंड रिलैक्स इट एंड ड्रॉप द एल्बोज लाइक दिस ओके in each push up after each push up you need to come like this position take relaxation for few seconds in each posture or each round you have to do each push ups you have to do five times if you find it difficult if you are beginners i recommend you to do two or three times that's it okay two or three push ups in each so now here come into down of facing so now we'll go for sadharana danda or normal push up Now, first, in this downward facing dog, you need to take inhale first, and look front in between your palms, and exhale, go down here. Now, inhale upward, exhale, come into downward facing. One, clear? Am I clear? Let's start now. Inhale first, look front in between your palms, exhale slowly, go down here. Inhale upward. Exhale down. So this not only helps to strengthen your arms and also toning your arms and also toning your core. One, two, three. Just two rounds now. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. Then drop the knees. Sit back into child. and drop your elbows close to knee cap just relax for a while and feel the sensations in your shoulders so this practice will help to toning your arms okay and toning your upper body strengthen your core region and also get more flexibility on your spine so let's start hanuman dand bring your hands forward okay inhale slowly come up exhale come into down facing now the first posture second posture is called hanuman dand now take your right foot next to your right wrist go down first inhale up exhale down on facing okay now inhale left leg front exhale go down here make sure that your back knee should be straight everybody inhale upward exhale down 1 2 inhale up Three. One. Two. Three. Great. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Last two rounds. One. Two. Three. Opposite. One. Two. Three. Last one more round. One. Inhale up. Two. Exhale down. Three. One. Two. Three. Then slowly drop the knees. Sit back into child. Drop your elbows on the mat close at your knees. Hold this posture for a while and feel the sensations in the body. If you feel tired. relax for a while or stop it until you can continue okay if you are beginners i requesting you to do not do you know increase the number of rounds here okay don't increase the number of repetitions otherwise you will have pain in the shoulders okay so go slowly if you are beginners just do only two push ups in each okay so next we are going to practice third one that is called parshva danda we'll do only three here okay otherwise might you will get pain in the arms okay now in has to come up exhale come down or facing now inhale raising your right leg up and exhale fold your right knee 
and play, take your right leg under the left armpit and straight and slowly go down here. Inhale up. So this pose will help to stretch your external oblique your muscles and also toning your entire core on side of the core here. Okay, this is very good posture to reduce weight faster. Okay, then come into down of facing here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very slowly now. One, go down. Two, if you find it difficult to lifting the sit bone off the floor, you may drop it down here. Do not lift up and just come here. And three, downward facing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last one more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now drop the knees and slowly sit back into child. Take your arms closer to your knees. Relax for a while and feel the sensations in your body. Breath should be normal and deeply without putting any stress on your face or nostril. Just hold for a few seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, again keep your arms straight. Remaining two push-ups now. So inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. So now we are going to practice Rama Murti Danda, okay? Just go down here, one, two, then how you reach the way you, how you came here, the same way you have to go back into previous pose. Then again, one, and slowly go back slowly, Aram say. If you find it difficult, if you are beginners, you may first drop the elbows, okay? Or you may drop the knees first and slowly go down here. Inhale up and exhale slowly, come down here. Drop the elbows, go back like this and slowly keep your arms straight and maintain the knees straight. If you are beginners, you do this practice. Or if you can just look front in between your palms, inhale deeply and exhale, go down. Inhale up and exhale. Okay, last one more round. One, two, one, two. Last one, one, two. Come into downward facing, pressing the sternum inside. Now drop the knees, sit back into child. Just drop your elbows on the floor, relax your shoulders and relax your body. Now take a deep breath in and out for five times. Five. Four deep inhale and exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Now last one, that is called Sarpadanda. Okay, this Sarpadanda is very important because when you do Sarpadanda, that will help to elongate your spine, reduce your upper back stiffness, reduce the tightness on the chest, and also makes your arms become more stronger and more shape, okay? So now here, if you find it difficult to do, do it only one or two times. That's it, do not go more than two times, okay? So now first come into downward child now. From here, downward facing. Now, in this position, go down first. Inhale up, okay? Do not drop the knees, if you feel tired, if you feel uncomfortable, you may drop the knees. Otherwise, you have to keep it off the floor. Exhale down, Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, or facing. Okay, one round is finished. Second round. One. Inhale up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Two. Three. And slowly come into down, or facing. Third round, 
वन टू थ्री एंड कम इन टू डाउन अ फेसिंग इफ यू कैन एबल टू डू देन यू कैन कंटिन्यू इफ यू फील टायर्ड इफ यूर बिगनेस प्लीज स्टॉप दिस प्रैक्टिस ओके गाइज लेट स्टार्ट नाउ फोर्थ वन वन टू थ्री फोर डाउनवर्ड फेसिंग लास्ट वन मोर वन टू थ्री एंड कम डाउन अ फेसिंग आई गेन वन मोर लास्ट वन टू थ्री and come into down of facing here so in this position just drop the knees and sit back into child here and drop the elbows on the floor now observe your breath for few seconds and feel the sensations and feel the sensations in your shoulders just observe your breath feel the changes feel the tightness in the body Five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly inhale. Come up, everybody, and exhale. Relax now. So sit in Vajrasana position in the center of the mat. Look forward. Now here, just roll your shoulders up, back and down. Make it up, back and down here. Roll it nicely. Okay, just five times. Three. Two and one. Then opposite five times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring your hands by shoulder level. Thumb inside. Let's start circle here. One, two, three, four, five. Then reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then slowly relax, everyone. So next we are going to practice. legs okay so that is called bitex or you can say it squats so we have a various types of squats that will help to toning your legs and also shaping your legs let's start the practice now here tuck your toes in pick up the knees off the floor come up here so now we are going to practice jumping squat for five times okay so if you are beginners do it three or four times If you are advanced practitioner you can go ahead up to 10 deep squats okay or jump squats so let's start here now legs together take your hands next to your thighs come into tadasana so from here take your hands into like your fingers now in here exhale like spider go down here just you need to push your hip back you you just look at me my pose do not you know push your knee forward okay you should not cross your top of the toes or head of the toes just you need to go back here like a chair one okay like this let's start the practice one two three four five if you can keep continue six seven eight nine ten hold this posture everybody be strong i hope you feel having sensations and pain and stretch also hold five four three two and one inhale slowly come up and exhale legs together and relax so next we are going to practice legs wider squat posture or you can say it kalyasana so legs wider make sure that your both heels and both the toes in a line So fold your knees gently. Okay? Go down here and place your right elbow and left elbow on your respective thighs or knees, okay? Just pull it from in to outside and grab your ankle with your respective hands. Look forward with a beautiful smile on your face everybody. Now just bring your chest or bring your sternum down towards the floor. make sure that your spine should parallel to the floor okay and now you are feeling now you are getting stretch on your inner thighs hold this posture be strong everybody with a beautiful smile on your face yes yes everybody is holding nice now hold this posture five be strong 
four, three, two, and one. Make it up and down here for five times. One, then feel the stretch. Two, three, four, and five. From here, place your right hand inside the foot. Place it left hand on your kneecap and push it here. Now in this position, just bring your left hand over your head, come into Parshvakalyasana. Hold this posture and focus. The weight is shifting on your right leg and it has to building the strength and also toning your leg. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. The same method opposite side. Inhale, slowly place your left hand inside the foot on the mat. Open your right hand over your head. Hold this posture. Be strong, everyone. Hold, yes, 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 hold everyone. Two, be strong. Three, four, and five. Now inhale, place your hands on your kneecap and exhale again. Push your chest down here. Hold this posture and push your knees from in to outside with the help of your hands. Hold, look down to the floor. Two, three, four, and five. Now inhale, look front here. And as we exhale, drop the hands on the floor. Legs a little wider now. Now we are going to practice side squat. Now slowly go down here and sit towards the left heel. Breath should be normal. Hold. Five. Place your hands on the mat. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now inhale, slowly come up and exhale opposite side, hold this pose, five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, slowly come up, and as you exhale, slowly turn your right foot out, left foot in, then slowly left heel off the floor. Let's start high lunges pose. Inhale, raising your hands up, exhale down, one, two, three, four, Five. Hold this posture. Now in the same position, just bring your hands back into lock your fingers and open your arm fit and hold this pose and balance everybody. Five. If you find it difficult, you may drop the hands on your kneecap here. Four. If you can, take your hands back. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, slowly come up. Balance yourself and exhale. Turn your left foot out. Right heel off the floor and balance. Inhale. And exhale, go down here. One, two, three, four, and five. Hold everyone, five, four. Maintain the back leg straight. Three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly come up. And as we exhale, slowly bend forward here. Then slowly legs together. Breath should be normal. Now inhale, look front. And exhale, slowly fold your knees and drop your left knee down, right knee down, sit in Vajrasana position. Just place your hands upon your thighs with palms facing roof. Gently close your eyes. Relax your brain, relax your head. Relax your shoulders. Relax your entire body. With a beautiful smile on your face, Take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take one more deep breath again and slowly breathe out. Now slowly you may open your eyes, look front. So today we are going to practice new pranayama that is called Brahmari. This Brahmari pranayama will help to boost your nervous system, activate your nervous system and also it helps to reduce the stress, anxiety, depression. Okay, let's start the practice. Very simple. No need, no need to take Shanmukha Mudra here. Just very simple. Just open your thumb out. Okay. Close your ear with the help of your thumb or you may open your first index finger and close it properly. You should not hear any single sounds from outside. You need to close your ear completely. So what you need to do before closing, listen everyone. So take a deep breath, inhale and exhale with the Makara chanting. Mm, loudly. When you make loudly, the vibration will create within the head, within the brain. It helps to activate your 
act, you know nervous system it also has to activate all the cells in the body and reduce the stress anxiety depression let's start the practice now open your index finger out okay fold all the remaining fingers and close your ear take a deep breath in first close your eyes take a deep breath in and makara chanting Mm. Second time, take a deep breath in. Mm. third time take a deep breath in mm now slowly bring your hands up on your thighs with palms facing upward take chin mudra I feel the vibrations and feel the sensations in your body with a smile on your face take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out now bring your hands together into namaskara start rubbing your palms forcefully feel the heat in between your palms keep rubbing everybody cup your eyes hold it for a while and feel the warm sensations on your eyes do not blink your eyes in the palms now slowly draw your hands down gently open your eyes look at your palms everyone with a smile on your face Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Take care. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. See you in the next session. Until bye-bye. Namaste all.